This short video will demonstrate how to access your computer's drives when you are running our server-based on-demand programs. For instance, to save a PDF of a report for emailing to someone with your own email program rather than the program's emailing facilities, restoring a database backup from your standard version of one of our programs as part of a conversion to on-demand, or to import some donor or donation data into the donation program from Excel or a text file, or import downloaded online banking transactions into accounts. The reason this is an issue is that from within the on-demand programs, the C drive you can access is not part of your computer, but rather the on-demand server that the program lives on. Let's start with an overview of what's on your computer and what's on the on-demand server, and how your computer shows up when you are in the on-demand programs. So here's a file explorer I opened directly on my computer. It starts with a number of folders under Quick Access up here. Then under This PC, I'll just scroll down, it shows my various drives, like C, my main hard drive, and D, a USB memory key I have plugged in. Now let's open up the on-demand version of donation. I've already logged into on-demand. And from there, we can go to a file explorer by using tools, explore data directory. The first thing to notice is that if you click into the bar up here so that it shows the full path to where you are looking, you are on the S drive. That's the drive on the on-demand server where your data always lives, whether for donation or accounts. Then on the left, you also see a quick access area, but you would never use anything there because they aren't on your computer. They are on the on-demand server that the program lives on. Instead, we drill down, if we're not already there, into this PC. The first few entries there are still on the on-demand server, like desktop and documents. Your computer's drives start down here at client C, J colon which is how your computer's drive shows up as. The client part means it's your computer. And you can also see my same USB memory key I have plugged into my computer shows as client D K colon. This is what you see if you have installed the on-demand client on a Windows computer. If you are running on-demand on a Mac, the names of folders on your local hard drive will be different. And the drive will still show up as things like client home j colon, client root k colon, and Macintosh HD L colon. Okay, let's close that, create any simple report, and I'm going to demonstrate saving the report to PDF onto your own hard drive. The issues are the same for our accounts program and also for loading files from your computer's hard drive rather than saving. So here's my report and I click Save PDF. In the window that comes up, drop down this Save In list. If you are trying to open a file, such as an import file rather than save a file, this drop down area would instead be called Look In. As when we were looking in File Explorer, the first several items on the list up here, which look like they might be where you want to save things, aren't. Again, they are on the on-demand server, not your PC. Instead, you need to select Client C, J colon, like this, or if you wanted your USB, you could have selected Client D, K colon, or it might be Client E, L colon. Anyways, back in Client C, to find your commonly used directories like My Documents, etc., scroll down and drill down into Users by double clicking on it. Then on your Windows username, mine is decoop. Under that, you'll see the folders that you know and love Documents, which is the same folder as what usually shows up on your PC as My Documents, Desktop, and then things like Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. You can drill down into any of them to save there. So I'm going to double click into Documents so that I can save there, and then click Save. And there you go. And it's actually going to open it up also 
in Adobe Reader as usual. So that's basically it.